guys, your boy X here. Today we're doing that Seven Deadly Sins Season 4, Episode 17 live reaction. Now, last we left off, we had a very epic um, a moment from Escanor, you know, in his human form. Like, damn near almost shed a tear right now. <laughs> no, uh, but it was really good. It was really good. I did see somebody's um, comment in the comment section said it was worse in the manga. Like, you know, as far as, like, you know, how injured he got. Like, I think, I think somebody said that he got his arms chopped off in the manga. I was like, God damn! I'm like, so, they definitely, t that was, if that's the case, they definitely toned it down. But, you know, eh. <laughs> um, and then, you know, we got the fight, well, we got the start of the fight with Meliodas and the Demon King, but then, like, the Seven Deadly Sins came to help him at the end of the episode. Um, granted, Escanor's not there yet, you know, he just got his, the grace back from, uh, from Mal. So, we're gonna see, I guess, everybody about to face off against the Demon King now, so let's go ahead and get started. Remember, though, guys, for more Seven Deadly Sins live reactions slash reviews, make sure the subscribe button down below if you're new to the channel. Y'all already know we're trying to get to that 40k ASAP, so if you're coming off and you're new here, hit that subscribe button, hit that red button, man. Also, too, real quick, a public service service announcement real quick Friday Friday or Saturday, I, 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 I want to give me some leeway here, but Friday or Saturday I will be streaming some Resident Evil Village. Right now I'm currently streaming uh, Resident Evil 7 because I had never played it before. I started yesterday. Uh, so if you want to check parts 1 and 2 of that, they're on my channel. Uh, today, after this video, I'll be streaming you know, some more Resident Evil 7. Hopefully we can beat it today or tomorrow uh, before Village comes out. But yeah, just to let y'all know if y'all want to hop in. You know. But alright, about to begin this guys. And Five, four, three, two, one, let's get it. <clears throat> the voice calling your name, right? I mean, God. I am death. I am fear. I am a god. Yeah, they'd be quick to say that. I feel like the Demon King, I, I, honestly, I'm going to be real with y'all. Like, if I was him, which it looks like that's what he's about to do, what I'm about to say. I was going to say, I would, I would go straight for Gother first. Like, I wouldn't even care about everybody else. I would go straight for Gother. Hmm. Oh, wow. It's blocking it. <laughs> I thought he was just going to cut through it. <laughs> Courage, pride, and friendship. Mm, that boy said a whole quote coming to the battlefield. Oh shit! Dang, block that shit with his damn arm. He's like, I'll just watch from above. <laughs> I mean, I guess he can't really fight without his grace. Although I guess he has like what basic angel techniques. Or... Damn! <laughs> he ain't getting no time to talk. What this uh, This is nothing. Holy Spirit, Eskimo. Go ahead, man. Man, come on, man. Holy sword. That's gonna, oh, damn. But it's not even, uh... There's no better fight than this. To the end of my life. <sighs> to kill a god. Come on, son, man. Asking her to kill a god, huh? Before I accidentally... <laughs> Boy, asking her, man. He repeated repeat it before you accidentally defeat me. Are you insane? Oh, yeah. Go ahead. 
I, I just can't believe he actually just stood there and let it. I mean, granted, I guess he was getting attacked, but. It's like he didn't know they were gonna do that. <laughs> Oh, is that um the vampire girl? I always forgot her damn name. Uh oh, let me get a taste of that. Zelda. <laughs> wow, she's gonna probably mess up the whole goddamn plan. Hmm. That makes sense. Okay. Dang, got that fool webbed up, huh? Woke up real quick, huh? <laughs> you save me? Like he just said that, like I said. How does he not notice that he's wrapped up right now? You knew it from the start, so what was you just we just cuddling the nice little fake the fake Gilda. <laughs> wow. So, you mean to tell me they came in there for no reason, really? Guess he's about to face his dad? Boss fight? interact with anything in this world. Oh. And so Gother has disappeared down. It's up to Meliodas now. Hmm. Damn! <laughs> she came through like a mosquito! <laughs> oh my god. What did she really think that was about to do? Wow! Okay! 
I mean, she is a vampire, so maybe she's not dead, but Jesus Christ! <laughs> How did she get into the square, though? Ah. You impatient old man. Huh. I mean, I guess that's a good ability. Well, in this situation, yeah. She took the fight to them. Just went straight in there, said, let me find my baby. <laughs> Consciousness, Gilda, Gilda, Gilda! Wow. You're calling me pathetic and all. <laughs> That's not a great explanation, but okay. <laughs> wow. That was like the worst explanation ever. If it was, if it was Elizabeth, you'd be able to find out which one was the real one. Why? Right? He's about to kick kicked back into the real world, right? Okay, no, I thought. What, what is happening? I guess not. I thought like. Okay, maybe when he cuts them, he'll go into the back to the real world. They're not following their rules. They really told us these rules, and they're not following. I just want y'all to notice. With Gilda, I guess it would be a little bit different, but... Okay, now he's spending, of course, they gotta give him a little bit more time. Mm. And here this fool go. It's very, it's very, uh, cocky of him to say. Bold, I guess. The hell is that? Man, Bond and Escanor. I'll add King in there, too. They're, they're trying their hardest.
Hmm, that's what I'm talking about, Elizabeth. Get the healing on. Boy, I thought, oh shit! Boy, I thought Bond had a fucking pencil in his hand right there. Oh my god, that was a, the damn nunchucks. Jesus. Wow. Damn. Oh, and there she go. I guess she's about to drown or something. What the hell is that? Oh, that was a lightning bolt. <laughs> I'm telling y'all right now, if this shit ends right here, I'm going to be upset. Ooh, boy, I was about to be upset. I'm telling y'all. <laughs> Uh-oh. She said, turn me back to normal. Oh, she about to hit him with the dance moves, huh? What an eyesore. <laughs> Mother creation. Okay, so what she about to do real quick. Damn, she was thick right there. I'm just <laughs> I'm just saying. Um, whoa, okay, no, she was, oh, she changing the landscape. No, okay. Hey, did I do the little thing? I honestly feel like, actually, though, compared to everybody else, I would put her last. Well, no, 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 I'm sorry, I'd put her above Gother. But, yeah, still. And, I, and what I mean is in terms of uh, strength at this point right now. But I mean, she she got this man looking like she about to do a uh, plantation devastation there on her ass. Some pain shit here. Oh yeah, she said, yeah, I'm about to put your ass in a whole planet, son. Just scared the shell. Man, I was like, what the hell is that? Uh, okay, I was about to say, did we skip a scene? Boy, hit her with the like. I, I, I guess that was a proposal. I, <laughs> it's the worst proposal ever. Okay, it's not the worst proposal, ever, but I mean, you know, it didn't. It didn't hype up though. Whoa! Wait, what the hell is this? What the hell did she make? Sand? Mission defeated. 
The lake's gone. Yeah, what is it? Oh, wait, did she make salt? Is that salt? It's a grave. <sighs> that did not answer this man's question, but okay. I'm curious what the... You've been completely cut off from the magic lake supply. Oh. I just came in. Oh shit! It's high noon! Ooh. Okay, now let's see. Oh, we got Escanor in the theater by himself. Hmm. This guy. <laughs> <laughs> the king sings alone what the hell does that mean all right so i mean i'm gonna be straight honest with you guys this episode pretty was like it's good it's really simple is what i'm trying to say like it was a good episode but like Nothing really got pushed forward but until like the wars the end, you know, and I mean I know they like woke up Zeldris, but still he's in there It's not like they saved that like okay, think of it like this like I think basically how How last episode ended is pretty much how this episode ended and what I mean by that is you know You do have you have Gotha and Melios going in there waking up Zeldris and then luckily, uh, Gelda, she comes through too, and she goes inside this little dream world, and she ends up finding Zell, you know, find Zeldris, you know, the right one, because it was a whole bunch of illusions, and, you know, find him, and now he's about to face off against the Demon King, right? So he's still in there, and uh, he, he's still in there, but he's awake now, okay? So that's like a little step up, right? Then you got everybody else like basically holding off. You got everybody holding the fucking Demon King off. So uh, Meliodas and uh, Gother, you know, go inside of him. But you know, once they uh, get out of him or uh, whatever, they're really just holding him off. They're not trying to kill him. They're all holding back, really. You know, so Zell just can like take his body back. And you know, really, you have Bond, uh, really Bond. King and uh, Escanor, Escanor, you know, he appears, he makes like a whole quote and shit when he comes through, but he comes through, he doesn't have his axe, he's just going arms in and shit, I'm like, oh my god, but yeah, like, they're really just holding this man off at this point, and you know, by the end of the episode, you got, um, Deanne is like, oh my god, I said I was gonna help you guys, but I'm just so fucking, weak. turn me back into my real form, <laughs> starts dancing and shit and she like you know increases her combat class and she's over here like just really spinning her damn staff and then you know King proposes to her well, well I don't even want to say proposes to her he just like straight off says after this fight we're gonna get married and then you know that kind of uh, enhances her um morale I guess you would say and that causes her to like complete her whatever dance shit that she was doing where it looked like she was doing like some kind of planetary devastation but in reality she got rid of all the water I will say that that was pretty impressive like the whole area is pretty much like you know a lake right but because of the end that shit is gone like uh, I thought she made salt at first like cause I was like what the hell are they on now but it's really you know just I guess what was left of the lake the, the, the ground right but the water is gone, and apparently too, which I don't remember them mentioning in the episode, and I, like, like I said, I might be wrong, but apparently the water was like magic water, so it's like he could regenerate his magic from the water, but now that the water is gone, uh, you know, he can't, and you know, now they're like, alright, it's Operation Beat the Demon King's Ass, let's get it. So now, I guess we're gonna get the real fight, and of course you also have Escanor at the end too, he's like, huh, not only do you not have that magical water, but huh, number two, nigga, it's high noon, <laughs> so he's in the one state, so yeah, it looks like now the Demon King is down there about to get his ass whooped, so really I feel like it's up to Zeldris because, you know, Zeldris has to take back his body uh, before they whoop his ass because that's what they had to do with Meliodas when he was possessing, um, you know, uh, Demon King was possessing Meliodas' body, so um, I'm guessing Gelda is going to somehow help 
Zelda some way. Uh, they didn't make that rule, which I I don't even remember them saying that when they were facing off against uh, well, when they were helping Meliodas when he needed to wake up. But I don't remember them saying that rule. They just brought it this episode, I believe, where you know you can't mess up anything in the dreamscape or you'll get like uh, knocked out. You'll like automatically just get knocked out. And I feel like though so, I, I could have swore they brought that up when Gother went into Maul's mind back when, you know, he was like, had all of them commandments in him. I feel like he said that. I might be wrong, but yeah, so that's, you know, how Meliodas and Gother got knocked out. With God, I feel like it's a little different because, like, she got through because, like, she has his blood in her, in his, in her system or something along those lines. So, I don't know. With her, I guess maybe it's a tad bit different if she can get, like, knocked out of the, uh, the dreamscape or not. Uh, if she, like, helps him. So, I guess we'll see next episode. But, yeah, that was pretty much it, guys. Uh, that is all. Remember, for more 7 Deadly Sins live reaction slash reviews, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below for you to the channel. Hit the bell to get notified. I drop my videos. Also, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, my Facebook game page, and the Discord. All of them in the description box below. If you like the video, guys, like the video, comment, let know what your favorite part of the episode was. As always, guys, it's been your boy X, and I'm out. Deuces.